Hey, this is Kenny Moran from Mobile Sessions, and I'm here back again with a new video about the Merging Technologies Anubis interface, which it seems like every single day that I have it on, I find something else new in there. So I'm going to do a quick little video, and I'm going to talk about... Um, I'm just gonna talk about the microphone input and the dynamics that go with it. So I'm just gonna press the logo here. And so you can take a look at the main interface. Um, and you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do our little trick that we did from the last video. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna quickly double click this so that we can look at the screen at the same time. That is awesome. So I'm just looking at the mixer here and you can see here's where my microphone is and we see the rest of the inputs and then we start to see the outputs the cue system and the mouse there output okay let's just jump into this if I just tap on the mic it gives me various different things right from the Anubis itself so you can see here I'm going to just press um, well I was gonna press the preamp first so I'm gonna do that here's our preamp and you can see here's our input I can just click on it and using the round dial I can adjust I can adjust and you can hear me adjusting that volume more and more and more and more now you'll notice that over here on the top it says line input if I click on that um, I could switch it to mic or line the reason it's on line is because I am actually using the mic input from my console so I'm sending a signal from the SSL to the Anubis and I'm sending it to the selectable input that could be mic or line. So in this case, I have line input. And again, I adjust it the same way. Now, if I press the logo again, you'll notice that, okay, I come back to our main screen. Now, I can do the same thing over here. I can look and I can just press the mic here and you'll see the exact same window. And if I hit preamp, then you'll see the same kinds of things I have it line I have it named line one line two you're telling me that's a line you can see that I can put it in mic input and uh, I'll just back up before that takes off on us but we'll put it back to line and um, 80 Hertz roll off phase reverse really really cool function you guessed it I can just mute the input which can be really helpful in a lot of situations um, so I'm just going to go right back to um, uh, the menu again and take the preamps off so I'm looking at the whole thing on the computer screen but I'm gonna do this mainly right from the interface itself so I'm gonna hit mic again and I'm gonna hit dynamics and every input has its own dynamic settings where it has a limiter a compressor and a gate as well as every input also has its own EQ so um, I can tailor this and save this right in the Anubis. So wherever I go, it has my settings. So if I'm a voiceover artist, like in this case, I'm doing a voiceover and I can say, okay, today's commercial, I happen to be in Indianapolis and I'm in the hotel room. Well, great. My settings are, are all exactly the same. I set up my little microphone, I turn the Anubis on and away we go. The settings are already there. I don't have to worry about them. So take a look at this. It has a really great compressor it sounds like a compressor should sound. I have my ratio that I can change and select just by pressing on it. You can see I have attack time, I have a release time, I have makeup gain, and I have my threshold. Now I can turn it off so you can hear the way I sound with no compressor on and then I'll turn it on so you can hear the compressor and a great way is just to give us a, a little bit of volume. Hey! And you can see my volume. Hey! There it is, you can see the, the ratio pulling that down. Now if I turn it off, hey, you notice that, whoa, that can really come up at me. So I have it set for me talking. Now the limiter, this is a great trick. I actually use this all the time um, in Pro Tools. Um, even though I have a console that I record through, on the input channel, I'll have a limiter set up at minus 0.1. And you think, well, what is minus 0.1 going to do? Well, I only want it to do one thing. I want to make sure that I don't get any clips going into my DAW. And as long as my faders are all at zero, zero VU, which they are, um, then I won't have any overages. Because if there's a peak that gets to minus 0.1, 
it'll be stopped right there. So really, really awesome that they actually have that setting that we can have it that small. Last but not least, coolest thing, we have a gate, which is off right now. So I'm going to let you take a listen, and I'm not going to speak. Okay, little tiny bit of floor noise there. Okay, so now you can hear the gate. The gate's working. You can see it working. And I have it set at a, at a threshold that while I'm talking, it'll open and close, even on a breath. But it'll keep all the background noise out. So um, for you voiceover artists, this is absolutely unbelievable that um, I can have these settings set up like this. Now, if I just hit mic again, then you can see, well, I can go to EQ. And you can see I have an EQ. I've also set up this EQ to react the way I would for a voiceover. So I've brought down some of the uh, low ends. Since you're, you're close enough to a microphone for the proximity effect to boost you up, um, I've pulled some of that down. I've given a little bit of clarity, um, you know, up in the upper register at about, what does it say, 6.7 kilohertz. So I'm just bringing some air into my voice for some clarity really simple stuff if i press the logo again we go right back to the mixer page really cool mic settings dynamics neq anubis check out the next video